Good day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now you've got your Stellar team working inside of Microsoft Teams, you've got all your channels set up, and then you think, wouldn't it be great if we could have just a carved out area that is just for a certain group of people? Maybe it's a core brains trust or some com uh, commercial aspect of a project or something like that that is not, um, doesn't need to be or shouldn't be accessed by other members of the team. That's where where private channels can come into play. And that's what we're gonna take a look at today. What really happens when we create a private channel behind the scenes? Let's jump in and get things started. So we're in Microsoft Teams here. We're in the Prosware merger. Uh, we've got our channel set up. It's where we're coming together to uh, collaborate on this merger. Now we've got three channels here, customer rollout, media strategy, and research. Now, these are just standard channels. As we can see, we've got our posts, we've got our files. These files are living in SharePoint behind the scenes. We've got a SharePoint site. If we open this up in SharePoint, we can see in the URL at the top that we've got uh, a site called Prosware Merger as well. We've got a shared documents library. All of that stock standard, right? So this, these are where the files are uploaded. I go to my documents. I've got my folders for my channels. Now, we wanna create an area, store some files that is just for a subset of users of our team. So I am going to jump in. I'm gonna use the new or newish style of creating a channel. I'm gonna jump up to the plus menu here or the icon. I'm going to create a channel. Now here I can select my team and I can select my channel. Now first I'll select my uh, team then I'll pop my name of the channel in, all right? So this is gonna be the brains trust of this merger. I can type a description in if I want to. Here is where I can choose my channel type. So I'm gonna choose private, okay? And then I will hit create. Now, when I hit create, there's a few things that are happening behind the scenes. Now, in a normal channel, it creates a folder within the shared documents library. With a private channel, what's happening is that a brand new site collection, a whole new SharePoint site is being created just for this channel and it's secured to the people that I add. Now you can see, add members to the Brains Trust channel. Type the name of someone in your organization you wanna to add to this channel. So I am going to pop in Nesta because he's pretty important. I'm going to pop in, um, who else? Adele's part of this as well. Uh, but you can see here, Adele I can't find because she's not part of this team. So you can only add people that are members of this team. So I'm going to just, first of all, I'll add Nesta and then we'll have a look and see what happens. I'm going to click add. All right, so now Nesta's being added as a member of this channel. We can see our channels displayed a little bit differently. It's got our little padlock icon next to the channel name. So let's have a look at manage team and I'm going to go to members. So we can see here that I've got all of these members. If I wanted to add somebody else from this team, then I can still do that. But what you'll notice, the reason I couldn't add Adele is because she's not a member of this team already. So now I can see that, let's go for uh, Diego, all right? So if I jump up to the Brains Trust, what I can do is I can add members to this channel. So if I go to add members and I now go Diego, I can pick him and I can hit add, all right? And he that's gonna be added to the private channel. Now, if I jump up to the Brains Trust, you can see I've got posts, I've got files, and I can still add additional tabs and all that sort of stuff as well. Now, when I go to open in SharePoint, what you'll notice is that it's a brand new SharePoint site, right? So I've got Prosware Merger dash Brains Trust, that's the channel name, but it's not linked or it's not the same site as the main Microsoft team. So if I go back to customer rollout strategy and I go to files and I go to open in SharePoint, we can see that I am at this site and I'm in the shared documents library of that site itself. Now, if I go over to my private channel, we can see that I am in a different site. The URL's here. 
it's Prosware Merger Dash Brains Trust. And you can see here, there's the document library. Here's the folder name. And that is where the files live of in that particular channel. So we upload files, it sits in here. It's secured at the site level. Now you can see that I've also got a link back to my parent team site as well, right? So I've got a linkage back to my uh, the parent team site and also I can access the documents from my private channel as well. I'll jump back into Teams. I can see here that I've got my Brains Trust channel there. So there we go. That is what really happens when you create a private channel inside of Microsoft Teams. I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next episode.